I want to talk of one of my most favorite subjects today. In fact, I'm passionate about it, and that is church abuse. I want to talk about the Rehabilitation Project Force, henceforth called RPF. This is a very, very sadistic mind control entity within the C organization for punishment. It's hung over you like a threat. You tell the line, you produce, or you'll be going to the RPF. This is an ongoing threat that CO members live under. And once you're assigned, it's like jailhouse wardens come to pick you up. Scott was going to go on to the RPF. Mm. And um, in order for him to get through it successfully, I needed to go on it as well. Wow. And you're escorted. You have a person, either security guards or RPF, escort you. And you go into subterranean tunnels. The church is too ashamed to show RPFers to the world. They wear dirty gray armbands like they're prisoners. They're not allowed to speak to anyone if that person isn't also in the gulag. Their, their communication's cut off. Why do you work at night? Are you in the RPF? No. The RPF is wrong. They get less sleep. They wake up. From the hour they wake up, every second is monitored. And if they haven't produced enough slave labor, there is instantaneous punishment called laps or push-ups. The senior says, hey, there wasn't enough production of that making of those chairs. So the person instantly may have to do push-ups or what's called laps, which is running around in circles. But it's done under control, not voluntarily. Another RPFO orders you, orders you to do that right now. It is medieval punishment. And while you're in the RPF, for months, if not years, you are forced to look into the evil in your soul, to look for your crimes. When you're on the RPF, the first thing you do, or almost the first, is the truth run down. And they go through all of the files they have on you, which they've collected everything they can find, and see if there are any KRs, like we talked about, um, or other reports where I, or whoever the person is, said something negative, basically, about a staff member or the leaders of the church or L. L. Ron Hubbard or Scientology. or Your screw-ups and the evil purposes in your heart that made you commit those crimes. First of all, they get tons of free labor. There's hardly any pay in the RPF. More or less, no pay. The issue says they may get quarter, people are lucky if they get four dollars a week for 80 hours of slave labor. No sexual intercourse, no family time, no conjugal visit with the husband is allowed, even if you're there 12 years. Remember, it's absolute. That is what we're here for and that is why. It is based on our agreement with policy. And all the things that are done are based on policy. Some of it is CERC policy that is privy only to CERC members as to the reasons why and the motivations for. But I think we need to boil it down to something more fundamental here, which is, is that not only all CERC members, but all Scientologists expect that CERC members are a crew of tough sons of bitches, which we are. We'll go further, farther, longer, harder than anybody else. That's why we're in the CERC. And people who can't cut it, they get out. For 
forget about your kids. Forget about even talking to your own child that might be in a different area of the sea or no communication is allowed. You are isolated like a leper colony and you are considered a disgraced Sea Org member. You are bad news. Can you tell me about the RPFs, RPF? Oh, 